What is up, everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. We're sitting here talking about WWE and the WrestleMania 35 Hall of Fame. Uh, for you guys, they go back and you think about the, the WrestleMania Hall of Fame classes of the first uh, of the last few years. Um, you know, they always sort of stack the deck. You have that one Hall of Fame main eventer that goes in each and every year, besides for WrestleMania 26, when they just were sure that the Ultimate Warrior was going to go in when they were in Phoenix. Um, that Ted DiBiase, who was a great wrestler, but was not really a, you know, bam, main event Hall of Famer to Hall of Fame, you know, the main event the Hall of Fame. He would have been a great, you know, you know, mid-card guy uh, to sort of slide in there that would have really helped out a class, but uh, didn't really go there. You, but when you look at WrestleMania Hall of Fame classes, WrestleMania 30 stands out to me um, as a big one, but WrestleMania 29... That one was honestly stacked top to bottom. Bruno San Martino, Trish Stratus, Mick Foley, uh, Booker T. That one was just, you know, pushed, you know, all the way to the top. I think that a lot of that was because of the fact they were at Madison Square Garden. They were in New York. They were in the home of WWE. And uh, I'm thinking that WrestleMania 35, they're really going to knock it out of the park. They're going to probably stack that deck. As hard as they can, you know, there's not a lot of names that are really out there, but um, I think one of the biggest um, is going to go in. I think at WrestleMania 35, we're going to have The Rock go into the WWE Hall of Fame. There's a lot of people out there that think because of what happened at WrestleMania um, 29, is that 29, when he put his dad and his grandfather in, that a lot of people think that he was he's in there. I mean, he got to induct... Two members of his family. He was out there for a long time. It was, it was almost basically like a roast um, because The Rock was basically slamming people left and right. Uh, left and right. He was calling out John Cena. Uh, he was talking to people in the crowd like Santino. And um, you know that's that's one of the you know, the WrestleMania Hall of Fame speeches that I go back and watch um, every once in a while. And I'm thinking about how you know the WrestleMania Hall of Fame used to be a big deal and. Um, that's one of the, 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 the really good ones. I honestly skip over his dad. I skip over his grandpa. But, um, you know, just um, to hear The Rock and see him electrify the crowd, like we never thought he was ever really going to do again um, until he came back. Oh, that wasn't even WrestleMania 29. Uh, because WrestleMania 27 is when he came back. It was uh, WrestleMania 24, I, I believe, because I think it was in Orlando. But, um, you know, of course, a lot of people are talking about the WWE um, changing the dates of TakeOver, changing the dates of Hall of Fame. Dave Meltzer um, came out on the Wrestling Observer said he didn't know, but uh, one of the only reasons why he thought that they would make that change and make that change for the Hall of Fame and not just basically be Hall of Fame, be the one that's moving um, along with it, but that if The Rock was only available on a certain date at a certain time, that's a good reason to change the WrestleMania schedule around. And, um, you know, The Rock's got to go in there someday, some date, sometime. Obviously, The Rock, when he goes into the Hall of Fame, it's going to be the right place at the right time. Um, he's going to want to be the main guy. It's got to, you know, be meaningful um, to wrestling. It's not just basically like he's just going in there, just go in there. The Rock means a lot to wrestling. Back in the day, uh, you know, um, during the time he was gone, during the time he came back, even the time that he hasn't been there, 